<sighs> hey. Eh. Let's see. Testing settings. That's good. Okay. No one watching right now. Let's see if we get anyone coming in. Nope. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. I see. We're a little kitten cats. Hey. Now that. Little bitches. Okay, um. Well, we don't have anyone in right now, but I guess I'm starting anyway. No one can protest otherwise and. Two to quit. That's the last last time on the crooked man we uh found spookiness. Yes, you yeah, you guys are let me show you them. They're really spooky. Look at look at this dark void. The dark void. No one can see this right now because no one's on. It's great. Oh, someone came on. Okay, uh, I think it was a school was in last time. Yeah, I think it was a school. And we go into the, the haunting. Oh, creepy wind noises. Haunting, I'm home. A fire extinguisher in the middle of the hall. It's a perfect place to put it, really. The men's bathroom. The woman's bathroom. Here's some more. Oh, found some things. A memo about necessary repairs. Which probably have not been done yet. Because people suck their jobs. Deep fish from the wall behind the Eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. That probably has not been done. Nothing inside. Chairs. Just a lot of chairs. Cardboard boxes. Contains cleaning tools. List of faculty. Criminal law. John Keith. Civil law. Andrew Robertson. International law. Cindy Peterson. Criminology. Franz Moore. Philosophy of law. Lefty Lewis. What kind of a name is the lefty? Legal history. Ray Twain. Comparative jurisprudence. You. Uke McGuire, Dr. Stacy Lizzie. Fascinating. Cushions. It's locked, as is everything in this game. Ah, sparkly. That only means things. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Ah, convenient key. Got the infirmary key. All the sick people go. The nameplate reads Eug McGuire. Lefty Lewis, the weirdest who names their child Lefty. Paper reads Knows about keys. Room managers of the month. Don't lose the fucking keys. Parlor. Stacy Lizzie. Reference room Ray Twain. Like Charles. Blah, 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 blah. They probably lost the keys. 
A coffee machine. Lined with magazines and the like. Lined with reference books. Reference books. Equipment. A fire hydrant. Very fascinating. I help you. You're a child. You are in the way. Oh, it's a big boy. Down we go. Would you guys chill? <laughs> People had weird names. I just let it to again fire exchanger on the floor, not on the wall where it belongs. The vending machine does not work. God damn it! I want a soda and a snack. But guess I ain't getting any of that now, am I? Well, isn't that convenient? Let's go down into the cre dark, creepy basement where all the ghosts are. The ghost is movie property, so the screen can be more viewable. What do you think of my ghost? It's a cool ghost. It's something I salvaged from my Tumblr days, which shall not be spoken of at all. <gasps> a ghost! Who oh, was there someone near? Can't really see them in the dark. Get a, why didn't you bring a flashlight? Why, why are you so unprepared for this excursion? Why didn't you get the dude's name when the landlady said she could go get for you, but for some reason you refused like a dumbass? This character's logic makes no sense. It's locked. It's a fire hydrant. Wait a minute. That's a fire hydrant? Okay. There's a fire hydrant inside. Are there indoor fire hydrants? I don't know. Probably. A box of tools. I got a screwdriver. Whoopee. Oh, and a crowbar. And a hammer. Loaded. Something needs to empty out their darn trash. Lots of books. Throw that out, too. Damn it. There's no snacks anywhere. Miscellaneous things. Oh, that's pretty much all my drawers that I own. Just nothing but miscellaneous things. There's a paper about topics covered by an exam. And I can go in here. Lots of books. Nope, don't have nothing to say about the desk. Lots of books. Lots of books. An open security box. That seems safe. Someone yoinked all the school's funds. I wonder it's abandoned. It's locked. Did I already come this way? I don't. I I don't know. This game is all about exp exploring 
and the like. How do I end up here? Why am I here? Oh, this must be the top floor, obviously. <gasps> Something's shiny. Must look. Lots of books. But, oh, there we go. Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. Get good. Ooh, it's, this is probably important for later. I should probably write this down, lest I forget. Well, with my handy dandy notebook, we can write everything down. Like a smart player. I mean, we could also take a screenshot. But, you know, there's something rather nice about just, you know, writing things down. Why am I playing this? Pencil. Let's see. One equals one. Two equals ten. Eleven. I forget what you call this. A binary number is made up of binary digits, also known as bits. I do not know this code, so. Or binary. I'm, a, I'm somewhat okay with computers, I just never bothered learning. I probably could. But it looks like, like it's just a bunch of ones and zeros. This will probably be handy for later. <sighs> Start writing notes. Alright, ran down. So I went quiet there. I was focusing. Okay, nothing new there, I guess. A security box requires a passcode. What that passcode could be? Who knows? It's a mystery. See what this book says over here. Indeed, latitude needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as an on or off zero or one can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Art is math. Beautiful. I hate math. Not because I'm bad at math. I just don't like doing it. It's to me I find it very boring. It was I think my favorite type of math um back in the day was a uh, like geometry and stuff because it's the most stuff related to like art like I lost the door with my security box passer so I can't get into the computer room like a dingus. And the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. That I had when I was writing for the seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left in a book somehow? Why? I should go look. But obviously you didn't. I'm going to go find it. If I use my ID as a password. Like Angie does. Then I won't forget. But that's risky. Of course. If you just use a random number. Then you have my problem. 
again. No snacks in this building. What's in this locker? Someone hasn't paying been paying their water bill. I've I've been in here. Right? Oh, maybe not. I haven't read this. M Mitchell's d dissertation made it into an ac academic journal. I'm so happy for him. I know he enjoyed my class to be a prodigy. I so realize he and I have the same birthday. He has my birthday security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. That's... You, you, you never use your birthday as a code. That is one of the dumbest things to use birthdays as passwords. Why would you do that? I mean, you could, but you gotta be kind of creative about it. Like, have like some sort of like rule that only makes sense to you. That's what I think. It's locked with six digit pin. Event information is posted up. Oh, it's a sparkly. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. My foot's cramping up. That hurts. I should probably stop sitting on it. I can just join the desk. The key of the room is among them. Got a key to John Keith's room. What do you mean? A fire hatchet. I have been here. Where am I going? I don't know. room infirmary unlocked infirmary I should have come here earlier oh hello oh it's so nice and warm and snuggly in here I'm just going to sleep y'all look at me all snug in the bed well, actually it's not me it's David one of the world's biggest idiots Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Convenient. This whole game is about key finding. It's kind of boring, really. Lefty Lewis again. Okay, this is the strange name hall. What's over here? The reference room. It's locked. The computer room. That's also locked. The parlor. I have to keep the parlor. Let's see. What's in here? Anything of interest? Anthologies and albums line the shelves. <gasps> I found the c code. One. What's this? I guess it's wire or something. Not sure what's supposed to be though. Oh, if it was made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. Let's see. Let's reference the notes here. Okay, it looks like it's two, five, 
one f it's two five fifteen big frame big frame You have to be a dumbass not to know that what this obviously is. Especially if you found that book earlier. I can definitely see confusion. No. I should probably save though. The clock just stopped. As with all clocks, it stopped at 3 a.m. Actually, it isn't. It looks like it's more like it stopped at, uh... Looks like it stopped at... More like... Oh, God. Clocks. Nine. It stopped at nine. I think. Where are my boots? Yeah. Looks like nine. Nine, 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 nine. It locked. Probably upstairs. Actually, I think there was more to that hallway. One sec. No, I'm a dingus. I hate this stupid game. It's so convoluted. Wait, Twain. Scabby room that's locked. Which one was it? Hang on. Lighter. Hey, John Keith. That's what it is. That's that's the room I'm looking for. Andrew Robinson. John Keith. Have I been in here? I feel like. Oh, that's right. I've already come in here. Items do I have? Hmm. <sighs> this one I feel like it's gonna. Stop breathing. Uh, where's anything? I don't know. Where's just no? I'm knowing. Which direction we are going? It's raining. Is it snowing? I've been in here. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. What I am on the street, so you knew it's my turn to go. Nope. 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 It's the wrong number. This game is dumb. It's locked. Actually, who frequents this parlor anyway? Actually, you know what? Or is it John Keith who had all that? Let's look. Ray Twain? No. No. 
and bathing. Oh, here we go. Now it lets me. Two. Five point five. You've done it. We've done it, boys. Ow. 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 Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. Show me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'll call the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmph. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. Yeah, I'm not a robber. Hmm, it's something like what a robber would say. What What do you want, a permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from the school, so I came back to bring... So I came to bring back some memories. D? That's your name? I actually thought I was one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You think a tall, shady guy my real name? Pfft. <laughs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't mind. I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya, loser. Well, bye, bitch. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even apologize. Pisses me off. Hello, kitten. No, wrong way. <gasps> Look at it. It's adorable. It's a baby. Say hello. Old the kitten. He's rather cute. In his own little way, even though he's so ugly. What you doing, kitten? Books on criminology, books on international law, books on international law, books on international law. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them, or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious now. They cannot, they can hide any outward appearance of guilt, will, or hatred. Though they are two faced deep down, they can make the idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. That's improbable. Not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Won't you just just dislike people you don't like? Got an achievement. It's called self loathing. It's an achievement I earn every day. Books, 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 books. I reckon if books checked in out. Now it's my new rival to like. A portrait of a dude. An old white dude. With a big forehead. Man, God. Thing is massive. 
That nose, too. It's got a big brain. George Wythe, 1726 to 1806, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first class and jurisprudence. Bear snake. It's attached to the wall. The screws are loose. Not the right tool. How come screw it? You mean like a screwdriver? Unscrew the screw holding the portrait. You have unscrewed the screws. There's a few screws loose. You could squeak. There's a cut. There's writing behind this. 1647. Ah, good. Yeah. Is it a code for something? No. Definitely not. Kitten, I need to write this down. Move, kitten. Do you want to attack that the pencil kitten? You little brat. Zagris, why are you the way that you are? Ow. Books and comparative jurisprudence. Alpha, carry books in the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. The shelves in the basement are for staff. Only those who require books in the basement must not form and be accompanied by staff. Taking any, any materials out is prohibited. Any of those who take materials out without permission shall be beheaded. Ow. Kitten, you hurt. Once. Uh, okay. Not this one. No. Nah. What about this box? Oh, it is this box. Sixteen forty seven. Ah, to the lecture hall we go. Ah, scowie. What? What? Ah. Not you again. You're annoying. And I ain't safe. Oh no, I ain't fucking safe. I am sure God. <sighs> One sec. I hate you. I hate you, Mr. Crooked Man, you. You are the worst.
I'm just gonna have a little stare off at this guy. Yeah, you, me, bloody. about later Garoon. come at me bitch ah hang on yeah we go I cheated this game. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, I... The hotel's hours away. Isn't it? Could it really be... Fall me? Why? How? Yeah, this is driving me nuts. I'm out here hallucinating this thing. And again, it did attack Sissy. So it can't be my imagination exists. Monster that it is. D. The monster's here. I have to warn D. Timmy's gotta get out of here. Ah, the lecture hall. Ah, uh, convenient. Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today we leave Vanessa for school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. And if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. Oof. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams. To our yet unsure futures. And may we have God's grace. Hey, D, what's up? D, how did you get in this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh, you forget. I'm a graduate. Eh, you forget I'm a graduate here? You know all the secret ways, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, from my graduation days. Man, has it really been three years? Getting nostalgic for this place. He didn't abandon it. It really hasn't changed. Just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have a place full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off it! Yeah, I couldn't have passed the bar exam, so I'm crying at home now. Look like a Fucking nerd. Next up is gonna be my sixth attempt. There are all great guys in my class. Most of them passed in one shot. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. But I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough. And I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean... It's my sixth time. I need more and I'll be way behind my classmates. 
Well, it's gonna be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Ha! <laughs> dangerous? What? Sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. Why are you just a weird old guy wandering in band school? But damn. You really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster? You little girls don't believe in that stuff. Being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than... <coughs> don't try and debate with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You're no match for me. Ugh, what do you want? But don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, ugh, do what you want. Yeah, we'll do that. Thanks. I got a shady punk like you. Tell me what to do around my um, um, material. Hey, Paul. I, I got in. <laughs> what? Really? You got in? To fight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. <laughs> Thanks, but it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. <laughs> man, dude, you totally will be. Make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. <laughs> Paul, I'm not coming to fly passenger place. It's not that kind of school. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Flashbacks. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Sparkly. The school newspaper is posted up. Julia Stone Law School. Topics of the week. I'm going to state them. Birthday 619, age 20. A big hand from Michael S for Mitchell. I don't know. It's either Michael or Mitchell. Today we must pay tribute to Fred Mitchell for his latest achievement. His dissertation in regards to current international law has made an appearance in Rico Collection. Majoring in global jurisprudence in Cindy Peterson's class, he continues to study hard in the hope of becoming an international lawyer after graduation. Below is the full text of the interview between Michael Stingham. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, can I see more of it? No. Hang on. I feel like those numbers might be important, though. Oh, there was that thing about, like, uh, when the professor's there, it's like, there's my birthday. I should probably change it. See, 6, 19, age Let's see, what's up these stairs here? Oops. Many hopes were filled here. I used her bless, but I received that blessing. What's the problem with me? You refused to pick me left from the dust. I loathe these meaningless days. He had a leaflet for the school. It's in the desk. I like his important. Is he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Anything in here? Is 
Just checking. No, absolutely nothing of importance here for now. I'm sure there will be later, though. Hey, when I do that. Let's see. Ha! Huh. Actually, let's try this. There we go. I keep doing that. <laughs> In here. Unlock the lecture room. Let's see. What's in here? Sparkly room. Just check the desk. Just in case. I was know it's about a seminar. Seminar 921 in the auditorium. Criminal and impoverishment prevention. Ivan Ablestiv's criminal behavior psychological approach will be referenced. You should be sure to read it before coming. Franz Moore, professor of criminology. What do you say? I knew there was something I lacked. I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness won't let me. I want. So I'm gonna say it. I wanna be woken up to be told I'm a have not. Something you lacked. A have not. It's true. There are haves and haves nots. People whose dream can come true and uh oh, the non flashbacks are back. Uh, again? That's my head just starts hurting bad. I'm being possessed. Hi. I'll deal with you here in a little bit. Let me just take this little sip. You know what I haven't done? Save. I have not learned from my mistakes. Oh God, that dear monster, why are you chasing me? I'm dead. And he died, end game. Yep, he's dead. Uh, I'm alive? Ah, uh, that's a disappointment. The monster's gone. That would kill me, but it left. Damn it. Ugh. 
neck hurts. I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Just in case. Uh... Yep, you're uh, definitely sluggish. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Mom? Are you crying again? Sorry. I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. A dream? Yeah. Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's go. Feeling refreshed. Time to start another day. Want to save so we don't lose all our progress. Because you, it fucking sucks to lose all your progress. Because stupid monsters. Nine twenty one. I feel like this is important too. Behavior, psychological approach. No lecturer mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm. There's a slip of paper in here. What's number? 99814. Obviously, a code. Been here. Nope. Nope. It's the wrong number. I feel like I'm going in the wrong. Uh, I think it's the next four. There we go. To the computer room we go. What was 
this way? Question mark? No. It was, I think it was the other four. So easy to get lost in here. Nope, that's the reference room. There we go. My computer. Might as well just know what's over here, though. Lots of computer. There's no power. It's a laptop. A trash can is full of crumbled paper. There was a thing for a three a six digit code earlier, so writing this down. One four four two four six. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have, sun and gradu have a sudden graduation to start the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. Uh, uh, what? A laptop? Uh, it wasn't on. However, as valedic as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, admired by pupils and teachers alike. Well, but he would proudly would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind us in face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. The gasps. Let me ask you all this. Shouldn't he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? No. I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Stop it! Stop! You're the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward! I might want to try to stop. Die, laptop. No, I, I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. You're the coward. <laughs> I, I just. I heard a scream. Uh, was that you? Jeez. You made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Something happened? Forget about it. Forget. Sorry to start you. It's nothing. Hey, hey dude. You okay? You're super pale, man. I'm just kind of tired. Come a long way and I haven't slept. Let me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink, and I'm being nice. So just accept it, will ya? Alright. Thanks. What's, but what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Ow. 
Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on. It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer, so in other words, you are heartless. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what. I won't call you Shane more. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. S say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? <laughs> no. Nobody. You see who you're looking for? Yeah. Well, I don't really know how he looks. Tell him you see him, okay? You got it. Down anybody around here, though. Oh, but can I ask something, too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. This room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes from me around or something. Yeah. Tell me if we get open, okay? Alright. Got it. <laughs> I'll wander around some more, then. Look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well... You be careful, too. You see any monsters? Get the fuck away. <laughs> Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got enough to find myself. Anyhow, <laughs> smell ya. <laughs> Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. I got an energy drink. For my maximum energy. And also got a save. In case monsters. Third floor, third floor, third floor. Hello, kitten. Third floor, third floor, third floor. Nope. Wrong room, wrong room. Let's see. Here we go. One. Four. Four. Two. Four. Six. That did the trick. Shells are empty. Shells are empty. I'm saving. Ah! Darn it. Exit out of the, p the page. There we go. I'm saving. Ah! Darn it. Exit out of the, p the page. There we go. Saving. Okay. Nope. Darn it. Sorry about that. Lots of books. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally, done with finals. Glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course. There's that lone D. Teach him so much. But he doesn't even get the basics. Because he's a stupid fucking idiot. So that can be behind everyone else. And yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. <laughs> the idiot. The nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently it was given to him. <laughs> We're having such an impossible dream. <laughs> what if you ask me? It's for the gray you always get. I hate how he fawns on me, too. <laughs> Disgusting. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons at our school. I wish I never loved my class. Man, this guy's an asshole. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. Damn, <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> Is this about D? It's awful I say that about a student. Well, maybe D really is that bad. G saw this. be a big shock for him. He always said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There. I tore the page out. We don't want D coming and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. Yeah, that was mean. 
lesson. Don't be a big meanie head. Let's see. Nope, that's the wrong direction. <gasps> uh, oh, it's a monster. A monster still wandering around. He's looking for me. Is this what he's coming for? I'm going to have to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Door is unlocked. I have a really bad feeling. It feels kind of heavy. What even is this? D! Hey, D, what's wrong? Get up! Uh, my head. I feel like crap. Uh, to mention it. It's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's. Gas! Huh? Floor is the gas. You got Get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Ah! Uh, it's here. Ugh. I'm not gonna let us go. Crap. The gas is pouring it. Be poisoned if I'm not quick. Oh, well, that's helpful. I look, I got a party member. Got an iron pipe. Oh, gosh. Oh, shoot, and not me click that. Of course it was going to fucking kill us. Uh, is it let me save beforehand? There's a crack in the wall. There's another room in this room. Wait, right? If we tear down the wall, I can't go in there. I'm hot. Can I win the crack this pipe? That, that seems almost impossible. <laughs> no time for hesitation. Gotta get out or I'll die. Uh, no good, huh? Maybe need some more. Let's try it. It's hammer time. Damn it. 
pipe. It's over here. Item. Hammer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Climb faster. Got an achievement. <laughs> Man, I had to escape. Hey, D, are you okay? I'll get you in the infirmary. Hang in there. I don't know about the infirmary. Are you sure you're okay? If you don't, don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poison? <laughs> I'm fine. It hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, man. Be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's water, water storage in the basement. So you heard about leaking gas. And once I heard about leaking gas, I only just remember that now. After I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the properties. So the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Sh shut up! I just forgot, okay? Man, to think all this happened when I just came to relax. I should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather. Sure. Just not in bad rooms, okay? It's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated. Well, I was always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I kept studying, and I still do. There's no change in my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself. Climb the elevator while carrying me. You're buffer than you look. Uh, well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome, man. You really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? But anyway, don't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangerous here. I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. Just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Bye, Oh, hey. Hold on a sec. Drop something. Here, you... Uh... Oh... It's that paper. With the professor talking shit. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey. What? Uh huh? This looks like Professor Andrews writing. Why'd you have this? Hey. W wait. Don't read that. Huh? Dreamer. The grade you always get. Hey, what's this about? How? Why did the professor... This is how he really felt. Uh oh. But you support me. You said be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down. D! Fuck, oh, guy, he's in no condition. That much is bound to find him. I have to go after him. 
Okay. Where'd you go? Uh oh. No. No. Nope. D, there you are, thank goodness. I always knew, at least I wasn't genius or anything. Why didn't they just say it? I respect you for first round you, because they always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I'm teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test five times. Failure. But aren't I afraid to dream? I always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. I didn't have to be like this. Is everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. It's life, isn't it? It's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cowed out for it. What? Just look at you. Kind of irritates me. It reminds me too much of myself. You know, wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up! Yeah, I'm stupid. But I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. You goddamn. You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. I started hard and made it to fight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see, and suddenly you have no right to fly. Seems obvious to me now, but back then... I just couldn't accept it. So I... I faked my vision which helps to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent. You managed to be an honor student. But... I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day... I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped down and... I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer. But I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. <laughs> Isn't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. Looking at you, I realized. It's not much. But I make my own money. I had a girlfriend, drink with my buddy on weekends, and try my life for what it is. <sighs> I didn't want to recognize it's been set back, but I can't deny where I am now and all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yes. Well, I don't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. About you. Uh, I won't give up because, because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. Let's see. So, just one more time. I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then. But all I mean is. Those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah. <laughs> of course. 
Is there any point in staying here? Let's go. Take you home if you want. Yeah. Thanks. David, what's up? Hi, monster. What? Hey, David. D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? What the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after, so I'll take care of it. Uh, all right. You just won't die, will you? Fizz you off this time. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Just me and you, monster. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's the wrong button. Good thing it let me save before that. Clunky ass gameplay. Oh, God damn it! Oh, it's because I didn't take that energy drink earlier. Ah, damn it. Only is energy drinks when you got skills. Ah, fuck, I died. <laughs> so much for those skills, huh? There's no You're not you when you're thirsty. Oh god damn it. God damn it. Fuck. This guy's a little more uh tanky this time. You need more hits? Oh man, I am not doing good. Did it! Didn't even take the energy drink that time. So I went quiet there. I had to focus. <laughs> David, you said I'm slow. Uh, are you sure you're alright? Damn it! Hang on, David. I'll come to save you. <laughs> so, so tell me, dude. You okay? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like I'll come back again. What? What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? If 
Found me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I don't get it, dude. But are you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Where did you find this? Found the basement. Paper looked pretty new, so I thought she just dropped it. Place of regret. An address. Do you know what kind of place this is? No clue. I think it's pretty far from here. Take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. Uh, hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Ain't dangerous driving around this late? Why do you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though, I have sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just, right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Oh, alright. Take care of yourself, man. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can myself fine. Okay. Be careful, then. W wait For me to get in some time, you wanna have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. We've done it. Scene two. Julia Stone Law School D. End. Done it, boys. Huh? Was that my phone? I was falling asleep. It was Shirley. She called me again? Cause she went this late. Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Hospital, huh? Must be a band or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Well, I wouldn't make for a good horror game if the places weren't creepy and abandoned now, would it? Should I go in? Yeah, let's go in. What could possibly go wrong? Actually, though, on that note, I will be right back. Got a Work on my refreshers. I will be back soon. Put that down there. And you're on down there.
In a bath. Miss anything? Ah, uh, the spooky bell spill. Oh, uh, a map. That's helpful. Probably will come back to this map several times. That was nice to know that the main the PC uh kept that darn knife with him. Just so I can say. Nope. It's locked. I wonder if there's something inside. Is this a blocksmith? Get it open without the key. Uh item. Uh, oh man, I didn't keep those tools with me. That was just stupid. Shells material and such. Shells material and such. Empty trash can. A copy machine. Sort of equipment. Cold box is lost found on the top. Nothing inside though. Key box. Lock the passcode. Um. Guess we'll come back there later. Hey, look, blood. Uh, what's behind curtain number one? Ah! What's behind curtain number two? Three. Blood. There's dark red right in the bed. Likely blood. <gasps> of course. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. This happy for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Lots of painted over keyholes in there. Let's see, what horse does the next floor bring? Ah. I cannot stop one heart from breaking. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. He needs one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto its nest again. I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. A magazine rack. Probably this one's are ten years old. Meow. <gasps> oh. A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. Ooh. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Oh, rummage in the. Oh, you're gonna rummage in the dead cat? No. I wish they pour it because I'm looking for the dead cat. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if this makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. It's kind of fucked. 
Got a bloody key. Uh, that feels bad, man. Oh, dead animals. Were these its kittens? A cow of its stomach? Who could have? That's fucked. That's really fucked. Ah, oh, man, you hate to see it. <laughs> Ah, so I'm peeing on the floor. Oh, I saw that. There's a ghost to goo in here. A solitary chair. I sat on the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. Still can't answer that question. That's his notebook. No doubt he's he was here, but is he still here now? It's obviously not the right key for it. It's over here. Oh, there we go. No? No. Interesting. going Would you guys chill?
Oh. Okay. Mao. Empty cans. Oh. Cans are on the ground. Something fell out. Like a small wire. I gotta learn to be, get into my spastic saving habits. What's in here now? Got an AD. Fascinating. Meow. Children. Nope, John the dead kid. A child. What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad in around? Did you come here alone? Um, hmm. Are you mute, perhaps? Heard you singing, so that's bullshit. Mama said not to talk to strangers. Uh, oh, well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David, 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Ooh, I like baseball, too. Mom gave me a glove so I can play every Saturday. <laughs> I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy! Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah. Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel. So fluffy! I see. Where is your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama. And then she went to get something she forgot. Didn't want to wait outside, so I came here to sing. But Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Um, I guess it's close to school. But you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have way you're all alone. Great. A kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. I should take him there. Hey, uh, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! Goddamn brat kids. What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Wheeler to show a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy! Goddamn children! Or keep chase, I guess. And again, you know, his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the sheriff anyway. Take me to the sheriff. I see him again. I'm a little teapot, you're a little stone.
I locked it with the wire, okay. Yeah, I know, but I'll never lock. Scene. It reads four four eight nine. Four four eight nine. Four four. Four 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 four. Is this locked battery upright? It's not working. It's burning. It's dead. This place is abandoned. God damn it! Ah. Uh, that's when you think you found the solution to something. Right, I did get that. Or the defibrillator, huh? Zit. Ah, now we get in somewhere. Should have. Uh, just. Four, four, eight, nine. There we go. Ah, it's one of these places. Hello. Any ghostly happenings happening here? Ah, my foot. There is a fuzzy creature attacking my foot. It's horrifying. Ow, now it is biting my foot. I received a puzzle box the other day. What an interesting thing to open it. I have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, meant the cure my favorite word. I read this language always makes me happy just to say fact. I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable, I show my daughter the puzzle box. She hit all the pieces. Besides, it isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a big deal. Should I give me hints on where they are? If I can't find any, maybe if when I have time. I just got paper with hints. God damn children. A locked safe. Let's see. What do they say then? Flowers and yay. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. So flowers, hands, it's so like a bathroom, the cafeteria, wherever the phone is, wherever the nurse's station is, and get close to the sky, which is what I assume is the roof. Oh, there's something to base. A piece. Got a wire piece. Why is this game so convoluted? Ooh, sparklies. Got the key to the counseling room. Did I use this bloody key yet? That obviously didn't work. Oh, wait. Damn it down. That hammer. Looks heavy. I want me to log in this room. Maybe I'll find somewhere to use it, though. God damn it.
am I? A stretcher, huh? Oh, there's some stairs upward. Let's see where they go. Oh, it's a child. Yeah, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? Can't handle. I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Are oh, you sure you seem brave, Fluffy? I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as afraid as Captain America. I was scared of walking the, in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. Well, there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Come on, hapless child. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Oh, really? Well, that's a relief. Thanks. Feels much safer with you here, Ch Fluffy. I can throw you at the monster if it appears. I mean, uh, you're a great company, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. Thank you, child. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. She doesn't share his office it is. No, oh God, now I got an annoying child for me. It's a thing the doctors use. I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Medical equipment. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. I measured myself the other day. I'm up to three feet. What about you, Mr. David? Uh, I think I'm around six foot. Ooh, what's this? Precision medical tools. Drawers, nothing in them. Trash can. Ah. There's me almost nothing important in this room. Oh, nothing really in here. That's in the chat. Nope, come on. I'm really thirsty. Can I have a drink? <laughs> no way, this water's no good. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Ew. Stinky. Yeah, it reeks. Do you gotta go, Mr. David? No, not right now. Oh, hi, Mr. Bug. Yuck, they're really hard bugs. This place is gross. Nice. Bathroom sinks and all the faucets work. Let's see. What is up here? Got a scrap. A 
mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure. I still thought everyone loved me. Uh-oh. Nothing of importance in here. Oh, I've got a couple things. There's a crooked. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. Found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots. I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like it was a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life. Always got around him his crooked stuff. It's gonna think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I get it, mister, but sorry to sing a sad song. <laughs> no, just remind me of that. Good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. Let's sing with her. Do you sing too, David? <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. Won't open. It's locked. Let's see what's out here. The nurses are, huh? <sighs> Damn these puzzles. I think that would be it, but no. Okay, I've been here. Counseling room, counseling room. What was that again? It was in this hall. Nope. It was up above. There you go. Ghosts. I just saw a shadow with my imagination. What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. Hello, Twelve thirty, three thirty-five p.m. Tape fifteen. Subject visitor A. Guarantor of a relative in room four hundred nine. Contents: A visit after some. A visit after sun change it in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon unidentified upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. 
2 10, 8 20 a.m. Tape 16. Subject Visitor A. Guarantor for relative of 4 9. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He said that living in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor? Tell her as a person of dignity. I wish he would come back here. Unfortunately, I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's that? A storybook? No, it's not. There's a key in the diary. Got the psychiatric key. Shelves are empty. Shelves are empty. Where's Sakiachi? Where are you going? We'll find it eventually, I suppose. Oh shoot, you know what? That map. See, they're trying every fucking door. Also, save. Also, I need to. Also, I feel like one of these pieces should be here. It's a nursing station. Where nurses reside. Lost. There we go. Got an eyepiece. Let's see, what do we have left? Flowers. Wash your hands. What do you have? Lunch. Give me a call. Cafeteria. One of these, right? Right. Right. Oh, there's something in here. Got an L piece. Wash. Wash your hands. Well, I just up in that men's bathroom. I didn't see anything. This goddamn thing. It's hard to be here. been here that before. Does this work? Uh, no, there's no power. A model of an embryo. A baby? <laughs> it looks like a monkey. What? 
Uh, well, baby, it's kind of like that. Click. Click! Beep, beep. Don't touch that thing, please. Got a small key. Nice. But where does it lead? That's the question. Hey, there's something over there. Ah, hey. Right, it's not stuck in the drain. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. Huh, okay, I guess this is the girls' room, so you should technically get to the boys' room. I'm not sure. It's all flush, though. Okay, I'll wait here. You can go by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. Kid dies. Hey, Floppy. You okay in there? I'm peeing. Hold on. Huh? What is it, Floppy? Come out already. Can't open the door. I can't open the door. Wh what? It, it really won't open. Did the door just break or what? Mr. David, I can't get out. I'm going to be stuck in here forever. It's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out right away. Just give me a second. God damn it. Maybe the sledgehammer? What's the sledgehammer? I can't remember. Ugh. God damn it. This doesn't seem right.
This is riveting, isn't it? Don't know where I'm going. Uh, where is it? Where the fuck is it? Where is anything? We go. That goes to another place. Well, I can't do that right now, then. There was that one room with the sledgehammer, that would have been nice. Actually, which room was that hammer in? Hmm. I'm just down here. We'll find it eventually. Not here. That's just in the bathroom. Come on for you, Fluffy. Definitely not. checked up here. Oh. Oh, here we go. There's more ghosts. John Smith is dead. Pierce Young himself. I was no help all it seems. All I got on the end was his suicide note. There's a letter placed in diary. Pierce be the patient's suicide note. It's chasing me. No matter where I go. I can never escape. I can't ever escape. So I've decided to die, but I realize it's grinning. The fact it's grinning behind me right now. It's waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for, but now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. I might start to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. I hear everything, Doctor. You're the only one who showed sympathy. Morbid. There's another bulletin board. Bed, trash, board. Bed, trash, board, bed, trash, board. Bed, tr two. I'm 
seems like I should probably jot this down really quick. What do I do with that pencil? I had that pencil. Where'd it go, though? Gosh darn it. There we go. Wrote it down. Ah. There's number on the board. Six. <sighs> ah, we're getting somewhere. We'll count for you eventually, Fluffy. Trash. One. Time to go for two. Bed. Seven. Seven one six. Interesting. <sighs> Where was that hammer, though? There it is. Thank you, Kitty. Looks heavy. Take the goddamn hammer. Why? What the fuck? Why would that hammer not work? I'm gonna stand in this corner and scream.
Hi, kitten. The hammer. Have you tried setting it to one bow? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been watching this whole time, watching me struggle, and you haven't said anything. <laughs> God damn hammer! The hammer is so obvious, so where do I go from here? Uh, where does anything go? Nothing the cabinets, the cabinets, damn it. This is... But fucking I just had to turn the right direction to get that. I uh, I can probably use the hammer now, can't I? I kind of like this game for the story, but I hate the gameplay aspect of it. It's so dumb. There it is. Look, now it's all sparkly. Shiny hammer. Oh, man. Oh, this hammer is so... Oh, man. How have I not noticed this hammer before? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, it's hammer. I bet I could break the wall with this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs>
certain things don't trigger unless you do the exact specific thing for them, and it's the dumbest shit. Oh no, he's screaming! The child is dying! Yeah, because it's like, I had to turn, have David face like this direction to, because I'm like facing this way, face that way, tried to like, you know, I had to have him face forward. Item. Hammer. Fluffy, get away from the wall, I'm gonna break through. The wall falls into Fluffy. Fluffy dies. Rip Fluffy. Oh no! Fluffy is gone! Fluffy must be in here. I have to save him! Maybe he's in one of these gross ass urinals. <gasps> I found Fluffy! Fluffy, hey, what's wrong? What happened? Dave, Dave, don't come near me. I'm scared. Fluffy, it's okay. It's me, David. But, Mr. David? Wah. Wah. That's how, ch how children cry, right? They go, wah. <laughs> wah. F Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? Well, I, I was waiting for you, Mr. David, and, and then I turned around and gathered and you tried to get me. Man, Fluffy, what was he like? His neck was all limp and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, found you, and I was so scared I hid in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how children cry. Exactly. A man with a crooked neck. Tim is. It's him, so he followed me here, too. Damn it. Why, Fluffy, not me? I was scared. I was so scared. I am child character. My state of being is to be scared and helpless. It's okay now, Fluffy. Do good for yourself. I'm proud of you. He's here. I can't let I can't let Fluffy stay. I have to take him to the police. Fluffy, should we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous down here. I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy. <laughs> uh, I don't hate when the, the crooked neck man tries to give your children the candies. That damn crooked neck man. Fluffy, please don't be selfish. I'm sure your mom went to the police too, so... No! Mama said to wait here. So I know she's gonna come find me. I'll wait for her because I'm tough. Your mama banned you. Your mama's a piece of shit. Fluffy. If I can't... Find him here soon, and Fluffy's mom doesn't show. They'll have to take him to the sheriff. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. Fluffy's just gonna trouble some. I hope she shows up soon. All right, Fluffy, we'll wait together a little longer, okay? Your mom will come soon. I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? D -d -d don't tell Mom that I cried. Mom hates when I cry. She gets mad. She gives me the belt. <laughs> Won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. We are men. Manly men. Now let's go. Okay. Yeah, of all the characters that could tag along with me the whole time. Not to be the annoying child. Damn children. There's a weird thing about the design here. Door leads here. 
But it's out here. What is the design of this place? <sighs> fluffy? He's got fluffy hair, so his name is Fluffy. Don't question it. If you were paying attention, he told you why. His hair is fluffy. It's, don't you know the proper how you name your uh, kids? You name them pet names. You don't give them real names. the map because I've lost because of that whole excursion I've lost track of where I'm supposed to go I have no idea Heck yeah, want to see something traumatizing? The kid says nothing. You probably did this, didn't you, child? You sick bastard. Where the fuck am I going? It's sparkly here. Uh, seven one six. Seven one six. There we go. Sandbags. Fire extinguisher. Oh, pliers could cut this. Not that I have those. What can I do about this? Ah, uh, convoluted. It's a good thing I have a somewhat memory of where to go with this thing. Oh, there we go. That was a random guess. <laughs> There's a lone dire here. That newbie Steve may have find us. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. Better pay me back for this. Ah. Oh. Let's go from find some Heidi gin. 
Shut up, kid. Hey, trip to null. Bomb took the stuff. What did they say it was for again? No hydrogen bromide on these shelves. Uh, Canite root extract. Mucosis capsules. Nucrenting. Hydrochloride. I don't know any of these. No hydrogen. Oh, I know so. Peel combination granules. Part salicylamide. Part acetaminophen. Nope, no clue. Are these even words? Chemistry. What is chemistry? Progestogen. Estrogen. What are these for? Um... I can't... I know what estrogen is for. Ciprorian. <laughs> Piperone. Moprone. These are so many weird names. That they do. Zinc, ethanol, oxidol, mercury. Even I know these names. Here, oh, here we go. Hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. Whoops! Spill it all over the child. <laughs> we found the Heidi. <laughs> I wish. I bet some hydrogen bromide could take care of this wire. A little bit of hydrogen bromide. Where'd I put that? There it is. Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Whoops, spill it on you. Okay. Hey, it's working. This is kind of fun. It reminds me of a science experiment. Science! Whoosh! The wire melted. The door can now be opened. Yay! We're outside! Hey, Fluffy, don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. I hope she comes find me soon. Your mom banned you. She don't love you. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your Mama, huh, Fluffy? Yeah, Mama's the best. Do you like your Mama, Mr. David? Yeah, I've got to love my Mama. I mean, my mother. Family's important. Her mom is nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Oh, sorry, those kids talking. Ah, my mom is nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? Oh, she's got a thing called the uh, uh, probably Alzheimer's or dementia. It's one of the two. I'm home. Are you feeling better, mom? Could you go to the hospital? Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't throw it out of proportion. Feel a lot better after getting some rest. It's really a good side of being feeble. Side to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. <laughs> You're so kind. See, I was going with Shirley. She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of work. I'd like to talk about with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support, will you? I'm sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm so glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. Yes, she's very kind. She's always cared about me. <laughs> If I get home soon then, Mr. David, your mom must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. 
Just wait with me until then and excuse you, child. I'm being devoured by a ferocious beast. It's this thing. Look, it's eating me. I, I look creature. Yay! Psychiatry is dropped for the hospital and commits suicide. Early this morning, a doctor employed at stop for a general hospital was found dead by a nurse who discovered hanged. So police are deeming a suicide. Ha. Huh. Hang on. There's that. It seems you can climb up. Save. There's something here. Got an M piece. Ah, the final piece of the puzzle. I feel like these. Uh oh. I hear good, uh, horrible sounds. They can only mean good things. Very squelchy. What's that sound? I think it's on this floor. Let's go down there. Yeah, I don't, we don't want to go down there. Oh, no, it is on exactly on this floor. Why would we investigate this? Why? Just ignore it. Move on with your life. Not in the bathrooms. Oh no! Not this guy again! What, what is he doing? Yeah, let's approach him. Eek! Is it... Is it he the embryo model? <laughs> ah, shit. Mr. David! No! No! Stay, stay away! <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's pretty much, it's, he's being haunted by the same spirit, so to say. So, yeah, they only did would have one enemy design. Ugh, my head, I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. Off I go. Actually, maybe. Try these rooms. Oh, wait a minute. Fluffy! Oh, it's about to eat Fluffy. I don't, I don't want to stay away. Stay away. I have to do something about that thing. I died. <gasps> oh no. Oh, my mouse pad's slipping off. 
So, answer is don't just go up and approach it. I gotta find something before going up to it. There we go. Get away, Fluffy! <laughs> Mr. David! Fluffy, you're not hurt. Nope, I'm fine. Sorry, Mr. David. It was my fault that you got hurt. Mr. David? It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything wrong and I'm dead Mr. David <laughs> and David died I and mean, that's the end of the game it's not your fault don't be distraught maybe I shouldn't say this but this kind of thing happens all the time if he had noticed a little sooner Ugh. Mr. David? Did I pass out? Yeah, head still hurts, stupid monster. That's a. Uh, yeah, should try that sometime. I heard it's good for your health. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. Be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy. I I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. She go to please. I'm sure your mother's there. So. I I told mom I'd wait. Mom said she be, was proud of me. So I'll, I'll wait for her. Lula, a child abandonment. Mama won't lie. She's going to come for me, so I have to wait here. He, he really should be with the sheriff, but he just won't listen. Try to force me, he'll just run. I'll give a little more time. he will force me to go if I have to. I do want to respond to what his mom's think doing, though. When your son behind like this, I can't believe some people. What's that monster up to? He's chased me before. Now he's just after Fluffy. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this. You're really great. I bet your mom is really glad. I'll die a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? Can't say, but I'll protect you. There are, so don't wander away from me. Okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. Well, off we go. in here. Oh, there we go. I 
Hey, FM. Family. Family stick together. Ah, a gun. Ah, <gasps> ammo. Okay. All right, crooked man. It's time to get personal. Say hello to Mr. Gun. <laughs> we got we got the gun, boys. See? You don't need this what's the ass knife? We got gun. Wow. Mr. David! Ah fuck, not you again. Gath is much as persistent. Fluffy over here, I got a gun. I can now yeah, I can now cast bullet. Yeah, I'm scared myself. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let Mustard come near you. Ah god damn stupid children! Fluffy! Gotta go after Fluffy. Stay away, Mr. David, help! Oh, here, Fluffy. Don't want to get near. Ah! Right away, Mr. David, help! Damn it, really, it's after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen, don't want to catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Uh, okay. was super effective. This is the end, friend. Don't come to your fluffy again, monster. I should have done that. You're right. We probably would have gone a game over, though. <gasps> I don't know how much time to shot, but not even it could survive that. Are you sure about that? Fluffy, I'm so sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy? What's wrong? Were you hurt? Why? Uh oh, he's possessed. Huh? Uh, it's so scary. We keep hanging in there. I, I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Because she doesn't love you. Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Yes, you are. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not it. That's not your... You... I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine! I can go there myself! Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it my own. Even if mom isn't there. Even if mom isn't there, I won't cry. 
Wait. Ugh. <laughs> My head feels like it's gonna explode. F Fluffy. No, Fluffy, your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? One of these ruins looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change. Going home. Forget this spooky bullshit. We're done, boys. What the? Sounds like a woman's voice. Oh, boy. Could be Fluffy's mother. So she did come for him. That's good. Bunchy and Fluffy pass each other by. Her voice is coming to clink, so I'll go check it out. Alright, back to where I came from, I guess. <sighs> ah, here we go. Uh-oh. Who's that over there? A ghost! Hey, who are you? Uh-oh. Mom? Take me. Why you abandon me? Uh, uh, that's not... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. That you abandoned me? No. You were sick, Mom. So... So you left me. My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No. No, you're wrong. Oh, don't. Who are you? My mom possibly couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. They're gonna try to kill me again. Oh shit. <laughs> oh the plot thickens. It hurts so much, Davy. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What'd you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you! Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Oof. Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom! Quiet! I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out! 
enough. Murderer! S somebody murderer! David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop! Let go! You're trying to, you're trying to kill her, David. Well then. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Oh. Sun change behavior, violent action, memory loss can be signs of brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counselors who resolve friction in the family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. We had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence her decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by and see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I, if I hadn't been stopped... Just like that, I would have. I never would have for... been forgiven for it. It really was hatred in me. And it's true. I have banned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious mother who cared for me. After my father left, and yet I. My wishes never came true. My dreams, love, even family. Oh, go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. Scene 3. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Oh, well, I think it's a good stopping point. <laughs> Just leave on a little cliffhanger there. To get up early tomorrow, so. But this is fun. I believe we are pretty much at the end. But, yeah. Unfortunately, if I had a little more time, I would finish it, but... I'm going to save it for a rainy day. Hopefully tomorrow. But, yeah. But, uh, thanks for tuning in, my one-only viewer. I'll hopefully get some more people watching in the future, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, well, yep, well, thank you. It's probably, yeah, 